Hello, Boulder Mountain. I'm Steve Ruth, and I have the privilege of sharing this week's devotional video with you. In his Sunday sermons, Pastor Kyle has begun a series on the book of Acts, focusing on the church. This past Sunday, he discussed Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 13, the birth of the church. Pastor Kyle discussed that the Holy Spirit was sent on Pentecost, and 3,000 people said yes to Jesus. Pastor Kyle emphasized that numbers matter to God. That's because every number is a name, and every name has a story. The church has a scoreboard, and we need to have a sense of urgency. This week's devotional focuses on two verses in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 16, verse 5, So the churches were strengthened in the faith and grew daily in numbers. And Acts chapter 17, verse 4, Some of the Jews were persuaded and joined Paul and Silas, as did a large number of God-fearing Greeks and quite a few prominent women. So as we look at these two verses, we see a similar sequence of events prior to the activity happening in each of these verses. In chapter 16, we see Paul and Timothy traveling from town to town, delivering the word to the people of each town. In chapter 17, we see Paul and his companions, Silas and Timothy, talking to the people in the synagogue in Thessalonica and explaining the scriptures and proclaiming Jesus as the Messiah. Paul is meeting with people he doesn't know and talking about Jesus. So how does this apply to us in our day-to-day life? After all, not too many of us will be traveling from town to town preaching in synagogues. But in our daily lives, we do come in contact with quite a few people. People we have the opportunity to build relationships with. People we can connect with. People who will hopefully see us as being a bit different from the world around them. Then, we may have the opportunity to share why we are different. Why we have different priorities in the world. Why we have hope. Who we have hope in. Jesus. Now, for these type of relationships and conversations to happen, we have to be willing to view ourselves as being sent to the world around us. It's not about staying in a Christian bubble all the time. It's about being out in the world, even though we're not part of the world. Now, the reality is that we can't build meaningful relationships with every person we come in contact with every day. We have to look for opportunities to focus our attention. These opportunities are presented by the Holy Spirit. So even though some of the people we come in contact with are going to be difficult, even hostile, we should try and see each of them as a child of Jesus, someone that Jesus died to save, just like us. We don't have to decide whether or not they'll respond to Jesus, or even if we think they deserve to be saved. That's not our place, especially since none of us really deserve to be saved. We just have to make Jesus and ourselves available. Then the rest is in the hands of the Holy Spirit. The most common illustration is that of planting a seed. The seed may not grow for some time, And we may never actually see directly the result of the planting. But God is working in people's hearts, and he's using us as his tools. (laughs) You know, as an aside, it's pretty amazing that the God who created everything that exists, the universe, countless galaxies, stars, you name it, actually chooses to allow us to help him in his saving work. It's sometimes difficult to understand, but wonderfully amazing. So as hard as it may seem, we will be presented with opportunities in our daily lives to be part of God's work. It's up to us to recognize these opportunities, be available for them, and be prepared for them when they happen. So, how do we do this? Well, one, when we're out in the world, we need to be different. But not in a judgmental way. It should be obvious to the world that we have different priorities and different needs. It may be as simple as smiling at someone in the grocery store line or being pleasant to a cashier. We need to prepare ourselves by being in God's Word and by being part of a fellowship of believers. Daily Bible reading and studying is a great way to start. Connecting with other people and other believers in a small group is also really helpful. Serving at church and in our communities puts us in places to meet others. So there's lots of ways we can do this. And this is an exciting time here at Boulder Mountain. Our group of believers is growing. And we'll have more opportunities to share the love of Jesus with those around us in Mesa and Apache Junction. So to paraphrase the second half of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, You will be my witnesses in Mesa and in all Maricopa County and in Arizona and to the ends of the earth. As Pastor Kyle likes to say, we exist to make disciples as we help people find and follow Jesus. So let me close this devotional with prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you and for the opportunity to reach out to others and make disciples, Lord. Please help us to know when to do that and how to do that. And as you promise, Have the Holy Spirit equip us with the words to say, Lord. But we mostly just thank you for the opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Boulder Mountain, for watching. 
I look forward to seeing you next Sunday at either 9 or 10.30 in the morning. Have a great rest of your week.